If you're thinking about getting into the Amazon FBA game, then there's a lot of things that you need to do and consider before you get started. So in this video, I wanna go over five things that you need to do before you start Amazon FBA. Hey, what's going on guys, Marvin here. Welcome back to another video. Like always, make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. Make sure to turn the post notifications on so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And make sure to hit that like button if you guys did enjoy the video. Also, like always, make sure to check down below in the description. I have free trainings for you guys, my Instagram, a bunch of resources down there for you guys to help you grow your Amazon FBA business. All right, so let's get into the five different things that you need to do before you start Amazon FBA. Now, the first thing that you need to do before anything else is that you need to check if your country is even eligible to sell on the Amazon FBA platform. Amazon has a list of approved countries that they will allow to sell on their platform, but there's also those countries that are not allowed to sell on the Amazon FBA platform, and you need to make sure that your country is on there. So all you need to do is you can go onto Google and type in Amazon FBA approved countries, and then you click on one of the links, and it's gonna show you the list of all of the countries allowed to sell on the platform, and if your country's not on there, then you're gonna have to make arrangements so that you can still sell on the platform, uh, but there is gonna need to be a workaround because if your country's not eligible, then you're gonna have to incorporate your business somewhere else. Talk about talk to a legal professional before you do that because I obviously am no legal professional, but there is ways around it. All right, so that was the first thing that you need to do. The second thing that you need to do is you need to start doing your research. So specifically, you need to start doing your research into which business model you wanna get into. Do you want to get into wholesale, which is what this channel is all based around? Or do you wanna go into private label, arbitrage, or drop shipping on Amazon FBA? Those are all the things that you need to consider and you need to look into each one of those models to see which one fits you the best. And another determining factor is gonna be, you know, how much capital do you have? How much time do you have? Because this is a cash intensive business, you do need some money to make money because you need to buy inventory. So you need to consider all of the different factors, time, money, scalability, and just which one attracts you the most. Don't go in blind. That's one big piece of advice that I'm gonna give you because that's what I did. I tried to do everything and I lost a lot of money in between. Um, and I just, if I would have taken the time to do a little bit more research on which direction I wanted to go, I could have avoided a lot of costly mistakes. So do not go in blind. Don't just go try to do everything and be like, okay, I'm just gonna learn a little bit of everything and then, and then work my way from there. Pick the one you want, Re research, and then pick the one you want and just run with it all the way. All right, so the third thing that you need to do is you need to think of the big goal. What is the big picture? What is the big plan long-term, not short-term, not how can I make a few dollars tomorrow or the next day or within a few months? You need to look at this as a real business that can really scale and, and grow into something great, but you're not gonna build it into something great if you don't look at it in the long-term, right? So too many people just wanna get things done right now, right now, right now, and if you tell them, oh, it's gonna take you six months to really start building something you know, great, they're gonna say, well, that's too long, that's too long, I can't do that, I need, I need to go do something else. No, this is a long-term play right here, okay? So if you wanna do arbitrage, you need to make a plan. What's the plan to make this scalable? What's the plan to make this long-term? Same thing with wholesale. What is my particular plan or strategy that I'm gonna follow to make this a long-term play so that I can have success down the road? But the biggest factor is that you need to have a long-term goal for your business. If you don't have any goals, you don't have a plan, then you're not gonna go anywhere. So that's very, very important in my opinion. Have a long-term goal and have a plan to get there. All right, and then the fourth thing and one of the biggest things that I think hinders people from finding success with Amazon FBA, with business in general, is that they don't build their mentality. So you need to build your mental fortitude or at least just go in with the mindset of, I'm going to be able to make this happen even if it takes a while, even if it, you know, there's a lot of bumps on the road. Because if you don't have the right mindset when you're starting to go into Amazon FBA, you're not gonna be able to handle your failures properly. You're not gonna be able to handle rejection properly, fr properly from the suppliers that you're gonna get because you are gonna get rejected from suppliers there are gonna be those suppliers that don't wanna work with you. There are gonna be those suppliers that don't have any profitable products. But if you don't know how to deal with that, then you're just gonna give up. You're gonna be like, oh, this doesn't work because it, because I searched 10 suppliers and, it, and there was nothing there. No, the opportunity is there 100% on Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA, in my opinion, is one of the best businesses to start in 2020 because Amazon just takes so much of the workload away from you that it allows you to really legitimately build a real business. But if you don't have the mentality to get you there, any obstacle that comes your way is just gonna be one, is just gonna be pushing you one step closer to just giving up. Mentality is the most important thing 
when it comes to business, when it comes to life. Because you can have all of the tools. I can give you all of the tools that you need to succeed, but if you don't have the proper mindset, it's not gonna matter, you're not gonna make it. All right, and then lastly, number five is that you need to invest in a mentor. In my opinion, you wanna cut your learning curve as much as possible. This is There's a lot of things to learn. It's a very simple business model, but there's a lot that goes into it. So Amazon FBA, in my opinion, is super simple, that's why I like it, but there's a lot of things that you need to know. There's a lot of pitfalls that you need to avoid. So if you invest in a mentor that's been there already, that can help you, you know, avoid those pitfalls, avoid those costly mistakes and help you go down the right path so you can cut your learning curve in half of the time, that's invaluable, guys. So I would say invest in a mentor or mentorship program, invest in yourself so that you guys can speed the learning curve up. Because if not, it's gonna take you a long time. You're not gonna find all of the answers on YouTube. There's a ton of great content on YouTube, but it's there's nothing like having that one person in your corner who's been there to help you grow your business. But if you're not quite there yet where you, you feel comfortable investing in a course, follow some good YouTube channels in your particular business model try to get as much information from them as possible and then just start implementing it. Once you have enough capital that you're like, okay, I can take this to the next level, I should invest in a mentor, then you then you join a mentorship program and then you go from there. All right guys, but those are the five things that you guys need to do before you start Amazon FBA. Do these five things and you're gonna be getting the ball rolling in the right direction. All right guys, if you guys wanna know how to negotiate with your suppliers effectively, then you're gonna to wanna to watch the video on the screen where I show you exactly how to do that step by step. Again, don't forget to subscribe, hit that post notification bell so that you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you guys in that next one.